In this video I'll show you how to work with a moisture meter and uh, I have three samples I'll tell you about the instrument in a minute I have three samples of wood here this is a door shim that's been kept indoors for the last six years at a fairly even temperature and relative humidity this is an incense stick that's been in this much incense and is uh, wicking it up and is somewhat moist and here is this garden special that spent the last night being drenched in the rain so these are my sample pieces and the instrument this is how it looks like it's got two probes or spikes on it you poke the sample that you're working with you if it's a soft material you you embed these to say five millimeter depth but if the material is hard or brittle uh, if you if you make a solid contact with these probes it's good enough already it's battery powered by a 9 volt battery and it's got some numbers and the rotating selector switch here at the bottom of it it says less than or equal to 6% 7% 8 9 10 11 12% and 12% moisture content is considered dry wood and below six it's excessively dry wood as in tinder not timber that's another word it's I said tinder and uh, there's a jump there 14 and 18 percent 22 and 25 percent so how uh, this instrument works I'm gonna explain it in another video in this video we'll just take some measurements so what you do is you poke the sample without splitting the wood and puncturing your own hands and you start from the off position you switch it to the six percent position power comes on but there is a red light that comes on when the moisture where the moisture content reached its maximum to the measurement to the uh, whatever the selector knob is I'll, I'll explain in a sec or I'll show you there it comes on there so 7% is too much its moisture content is 6% or under because the red light comes in at 7 so you don't read this don't read it as 7 it is 6% so that's for this one there it turns off at 6 and it comes on at 7 all right going back to off the incense stick I'm trying to avoid poking my palm with this there we've got a good enough contact on that one let's see six seven eight nine ten eleven eleven is too much it's ten percent it's got a moisture content at the you know at the um, at the middle of the stick ten uh, percent at the end of it that was soaking up the incense it's probably more but at the middle it's ten percent and the last one is this garden special oh it's very soft all right we've got good contact there let's see what we've got here oops comes on there does not come on there all right yeah it comes the red light comes in at 25 it goes out at 22 we're gonna go with 22 the moisture content on this garden special is 22 percent okay couple of problems with this measurement they are fairly easy and and fairly consistent however electricity electricity uh, doesn't measure moisture content okay it's got a 9 volt battery and uh, whatever sample you're holding between the two probes the moisture content in the sample will complete and close the circuit and basically you're zapping your piece of wood with electricity it's not really measuring actual moisture content so uh, electricity I'm just gonna go E minus that's the standard uh, symbol for electron so elec uh, or electricity electricity doesn't doesn't measure moisture at all ok 
Okay, so that's issue number one. Issue number two, temperature. Your measurements should be taken at uh, 20 degrees Celsius at room temperature, and that's about 66 degrees Fahrenheit, approximately, something like that. If it's taken at a colder or warmer temperature, your your measurements, the readouts, need to be modified. And the manufacturer provided charts for their wood temperature adjustment. Whatever the temperature of the wood is, and whatever the meter reading is, uh, the actual moisture content needs to be modified. So even if you're looking at 10, depending on the, the Depending on the temperature of wood, it could be 12% or it could be 8%, depending on how the temperature changes. Okay? Another issue is wood species. This instrument was calibrated to be used with red oak. If you have another wood species, then you have another table to refer to. Sorry, uh, that's dimensional changes. This one, species, species adjustment table for this model. And you have species labeled A, B, C, D, E, and F. And if you are looking at a 10% reading on the instrument, if you have species A, it is 10%, but species B, you actually have 11.7 or 11.5 or 12.2, depending on what species you're looking at. Because if your species contains more, more water or less water in the cellular cavities and between the cellular cavities in the actual wood than the one the instrument was calibrated for, then you're going to have a different value than what the instrument is showing. So these are the limitations here for the electronic moisture meter. If you want to know the actual, actual, absolutely correct moisture content of this piece of wood, what you need to do is fairly straightforward. Just forget about all this high-tech mumbo-jumbo and this you do. You grab yourself a scale that uh, whose sensitivity you're happy with. So you measure it moist or wet or as is. Okay, so you measure its wet weight. Okay, that's wet, WT for weight. Wet weight. And you take a number, say, I don't know, 60. 60 anything, I don't know, 60 whatever. Just 60, work with 60. And then you take another measurement right after you take it out of the oven or the kiln. You put it in an oven to evaporate all of its moisture, okay? Set it to 212 degrees Fahrenheit or 100 degrees Celsius or something like that. Just don't set it on fire. Evaporate all of the moisture from it. It doesn't have to be boiling the moisture off, you know? 80 degrees Celsius is good, like 180 Fahrenheit is also good, something. so. 12 hours later, take out your samples and you're gonna measure its weight again. That's gonna be its dry weight, all right? So you have your wet weight, you have your dry weight. Say the dry weight is 50, how about 50? And then what you do is you subtract. The, uh, from the wet weight, you subtract the dry weight. So 60 minus 50, that's gonna be equaling 10. Where do I write it? I'll just write it here, 10. And your last move is, you divide the 10 by the dry weight, by the 50. And if you want a percentage, you times it by 100. And equals, say 10 over 50 is the same as equivalent fractions, 20 over 100, 20 over 100 times 100. So it's going to be 20% moisture content. Okay, that's how you can do this with a scale and an oven or a, yeah an oven or a kiln if you have a small one okay so that's actual moisture content it's not dependent on wood species it doesn't matter what the temperature of the wood is before the oven and after the oven and it doesn't matter how, how your scale is doing as long as you're happy with its accuracy just measure it wet measure it dry and then the uh, 
subtract the two numbers and once you have the difference you divide the difference in weight by the dry weight and then you times it by 100 to get a percentage alright so that's actual moisture content versus electronic moisture measurement